Salvation comes to the wise and the fool. I follow the different logic, a different set of rules. So when the darkness comes and tries to get you too, don't believe him when he says there's nothing you can do. Nobody knows what you might find there. on the other side You've got to hold on to each other Follow the light Follow the buttons are clear yeah. and the lunch that I made is so bland I'm so hungry I could eat my hands and I don't Toast or steam, can someone just breathe? Can which but my darling, I'll go through a nice homemade pizza. Take out and find something to watch on the two. I'm the house manager here tonight. On behalf of Town Hall Seattle, the Book Club Seattle, it's my pleasure to welcome you all tonight. We would like to acknowledge that our institution stands on the unceded traditional territory of the Coast Salish people, particularly the Duwamish. 
We thank them for our continued use of the natural resources of their ancestral homeland. We're excited to partner with Bushwick Book Club Seattle to present a portion of their season at Town Hall. Be sure to tune in for our next Bushwick event on April 8th for an evening of music inspired by Anne of Green Gables. As part of our Arts and Culture series, tonight's event is sponsored by Four Culture, Arts Fund, Washington State's Arts Commission, and the Seattle Office of Arts and Culture. The Bushwick Book Club Seattle is also supported by Ford Culture and the Seattle Office of Arts and Culture. Thanks to all our sponsors for making tonight's event possible. Town Hall Seattle and the Bushwick Book Club Seattle are both member-supported organizations, so I'd like to thank any and all members who are joining us tonight. Tonight, Bushwick Book Club Seattle performs an evening of music inspired by Jacqueline Woodson's Red at the Bone. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming our MC for tonight, Wes Waddell. Inspiration from the page Now translated for the stage Thank you! It don't matter what your age right. is All ages <sighs> Here we are, 2023. We made it. Happy New Year. Everybody give yourselves a hand for making it this far. That's good. Uh, thank you so much to Town Hall Seattle, uh, to... Um, you for being here to our artists tonight. Uh, we want to send a special thanks uh, and well wishes tonight to a couple of performers who were originally slated to appear here, um, but who have experienced uh, catastrophes of very different kinds. Everyone's okay, but uh, this is life in the 2020s, and we're sending good vibes out into the world. Um, who read the book? Good. Yeah. Yes. Um, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Um, oh, I should give a, I'm, I'm going to give a, a brief physical description of myself. Um, I am a uh, tall, skinny, white guy wearing a red shirt in honor of Red at the Bone, who has been experimenting with facial hair during the pandemic. Um, I'm trying to go color, color shirt for every show uh, this year. Our Bushwick season, the full spectrum season, every book title this year is, uh, is a different color featured in the title. If you have not experienced a Bushwick Book Club Seattle show before, what you are going to see is original music inspired by the book. Every performer tonight read the book, drew inspiration in some way, saw what spoke to them, and wrote something in response. If you read it too, you're now in conversation with this as well. Um, read at the bone. Family, community, legacy, a whole lot of things. Uh, layers. Um, I wanted to kind of get everyone involved right away, uh, and I'm going to count backwards from three, and when I get to, uh, to one, I want everyone to just say a word that comes to mind when you think about family or community or legacy. Uh, though at home viewers, you can type it in the chat. Um, let's just, let's, let's see what happens. It, it doesn't have to be uh, nice or kind. Um, let's see what we get. Three, two, one. Very good. That's what we were looking for. Tonight's, uh, tonight's show will happen in two acts. There will be an intermission. After intermission, there will be a quiz that you as audience can participate in. We'll talk more about that before. Um, tonight you will hear brand new songs inspired by Jacqueline Woodson's Red at the Bone from Michelle Searle, Chiku Nance, Emily Persia, Townsend Salater, Carla Rons, Amber Flame, and Aline and Wes. Can we give them all a big hand? Our lineup tonight. Four of those acts are first timers here on the Bushwick stage. Um, but the very first song I want to, uh, I want to hear tonight is, uh, is a little bit off script, because uh, our very first performer tonight, Michelle Searle, had a birthday yesterday, and it was uh, one of those ones that ends in a zero. Um, and uh, so let's sing to her. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Michelle Searle. Since the pandemic, Michelle hasn't done much songwriting. This will be the first song she has finished in a long time. 
She is grateful to be asked to play tonight and is proud of what she created. She's accompanied by Aaron Harmonson on bass. Let's get the show going. Michelle Searle. Wes Waddell, everybody. Um, so reading this book, uh, there were so many things happening um, inside of it. And I, I'd have to say the thing that I connected with the most were uh, the relationships that the people didn't seem to be having with each other, but the relationships that they were having with themselves inside. Um, and a lot of the unspokenness that was happening inside of the family unit and how that leads through generations, how we're kind of taught to, you know, be a certain way in the public eye and we have this thing underneath that we always long for and desire that maybe we just never get to. And so um, I kind of thought, how does that reflect on me? Um, my birthday is, I'm um, 50 this year. And I was thinking about, you know, over the pandemic, um, all these things that happened and how isolated I was and how I just longed for this different life that I just never felt like I got. And I felt like the pandemic was a, a way that um, I could shift and change that through all the isolation that I had. Um, how can I be different in the world coming back out? Because at the end of this book, it's just these a mother and daughter left over. And um, I feel like when older family members die, all their expectations of you die as well. And so you're allowed to become yourself. And so I was thinking about how you can become yourself at any point in time, because we're constantly coming of age. So my song is about kind of me coming of age constantly, always. Thank you very much for being here tonight. I wrote another song I didn't like what it said. Part of growing up is knowing when a feeling is dead. With so much to say, it starts the same, it's playing its part. Only thing I know is what was written on my heart. Never had much of a role model to steer me clear. Start to think what I could have had without all my fears. Sadness gets in the way every day. Here's the first time that I'm gonna try something new. Try to write a spell in hope of it getting through. Trying to find some joy every day. Here we go with the try for a little bit more. Gratitude reaches out, picks you up off that floor. You're alive There's always something deeper Trying to kill your soul inside Never know what it is Till you look in your eyes For that truth They'll say what doesn't kill you It's not just a cliche People out here dying inside Every single day Metaphorically and real life can't let this pain be the real death of me want more from this life that allows me to be the light inside i'm grateful to still be alive
Here's to hope and all that grace I'll lead along the way. I'm going to let myself forgive my mistakes. I want to be the light inside. Free from all I thought, all that shit that I knew before. Starting to wake up, I ain't trying to settle some score. Want to be a surprise. I'm grateful to still be alive. I'm grateful to still be alive. Hi. Thank you. Aaron Harmonson. Michelle Searle. Aaron Harmonson on the bass. Michelle has joined Bushwick in the past for original music inspired by Animal Vegetable Miracle, Shrill Sabora Me, Bonk, and the Jack Straw Partnership. Now add Red at the Bone to that. If you want to find out more information about any of our performers tonight, follow them in the places they ask to be followed, hear their music, maybe better yet, buy their music. You can check out our digital program, bit.ly slash R-A-T-B hyphen P-G-M. There's a QR code right there to scan. Uh, at home viewers, hopefully someone from Town Hall is putting that in the chat right now or putting that QR code on your screen. Um, the most important thing you can do for artists right now is just stay in touch with them and let, uh, and follow up on what they're doing. Coming up next is Chiku Nance, one of our first timers tonight. Let's get, yeah, let's make some first time noise. Chiku Nance is a Chamorro musician and comedian who grew up in the Seattle area. They participate in the local artist collectives Guma, uh, Guma Gala and Flower Flower. You can find more of their work online with the handle at Chiku Nance. And they once won a spelling bee in third grade on the word, guesses? Any guesses? No, much simpler than that, accelerator. <laughs> Make some noise for Chiku Nance. Thank you so much. Uh, it's such an honor to be here at the Bushwick Book Club tonight. Um, I love this book. I was on a camping trip with a friend when this happened. We were both reading in the car, car camping, and she would just look over at me like crying every, like, you know, 100 pages. Um, this book was so impactful for me, and specifically this idea between Iris and Aubrey and how when Iris was exploring herself and um, coming into that queer relationship, there was such a loss that Aubrey experienced and so much grief in Iris's victory of finding herself. And I really loved how the book really switched between perspectives of each person and we got to see and hear from so many different voices for things that happened. And so my song switches between the voices of Iris and Aubrey and kind of highlights the good parts and the bad parts of what they experienced in the book. And I hope you enjoy it. What do you do when you lose the love of your life? What do you do when you know that you don't cross her mind? When you held on just as tight as you could But she walked out the door and she couldn't look you in the eye What do you do when she leaves you behind? Is this how it feels to exist as yourself, as you are? Is this how it feels to be loved and to love how bizarre? When you're alone and you look at yourself in the mirror and know that you did what it took to survive, is this how it feels 
to live your life. Is this how it feels to move on, to have peace, to breathe? Is this how it feels to be whole, to become and believe? When you were lost in the dark by yourself, scared of asking for help, now you know how to get what you need. Is this how it feels to grow, to dream? What do you do when it hurts and you can't help but cry? What do you do when you can't get them off of your mind? When you walked out just as fast as you could and you didn't look back cause you thought that you'd always have time. What do you do when he leaves you behind? Thank you. She can dance. All right, get those phones out. Go to at Chiku Nance across your favorite platforms and start following. Welcome to the club. W-E-L-C-O-M-E, -E, welcome. That's not quite third grade level there, too, but that's all right. All right, coming up to the stage now, we have Emily Persia. Emily is a vocalist, songwriter, pianist, and music educator. She received her degree in music education from the University of Washington and previously worked as an elementary music teacher in Redmond, a choir teacher at St. James Cathedral, and an accompanist for the Bellevue Girl Choir. She teaches private lessons while focusing most of her time and energy on her two young daughters, Nora and Sophie. Emily is also Bushwick Northwest's new social media manager. So make sure you say hi to Emily at the merch table over there. Sometime this evening, uh, where you can also uh, take some of tonight's artists home with you, as well as plenty of Bushwick merch. Find out about all the different partner programs that we do. Uh, and accompanying Emily on bass is Jeff Larson, who has the distinction of having founded this organization in 2010. This is executive director right here. Uh, please make welcome Emily Persia. Thank you, Thank you so much. In this little bit. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Emily. I am a white woman with red hair, big green glasses, um, and a green shirt. And um, I loved this book. Um, it, I was just blown away by how much Jacqueline Woodson could, the depth that she got to and the complexity of her characters in a book that was like 200 pages long and a lot of the pages were pretty sparse like there was not a ton of words in there and she just covered so much and made you feel so much um and i just i I, th I feel like it makes sense that she is a macarthur fellow because she's a literary genius like that book blew me away um so when i went to write my song um one of the things that i it was really um evocative to me was the way that uh, her characters were depicted and how I felt like every, with the changing perspective and point of view with each chapter, um, you kind of looked at the characters differently. Um, and it reminded me of a kaleidoscope, how when you look through a kaleidoscope, it's all the same bits of glass or colored plastic, or whatever is in a kaleidoscope. Um, but depending on how the pieces move and how you change your perspective, a whole new image appears. And I feel like that's how we are as humans and what Jacqueline um, conveyed in her book was how we all carry the same um, experiences and traumas and um, 
parts of who we are, but depending on who we're with or what, um, I guess, what the context is, we look different and we we appear different to ourselves and to others. And so, um, so I kind of free wrote a poem about a kaleidoscope um, and how that connected to this book. And Jeff was so kind to add some bass to it. Yes. Are we good, Jeff? Can, we wanted to make sure you guys hear the bass. Can you hear the bass? Try again. Oh. Woo. Jeff Larson, everybody. All right. So this is Kaleidoscope. person is a kaleidoscope, a collection of infinite colors, patterns, behavior, symmetry, but always shifting, always changing, forever changing. fragments of who we once were getting rearranged the same bits of broken glass reshuffled but always kept the echo on me. Jeff Larson. All right. If you're thinking to yourself, where can I get like one of those hats and shirts that Wes just put on? Or one of those uh, Bushwick Book Club pint glasses. This is hard to, uh, to... All right, I've got to... Jeff, you're blocking the merch. All right, hopefully, hopefully they're zooming in on this right now. Head over to that merch table at, at the intermission and, and check it out. Um, pint glasses, we're just giving these away. If you sign up for something or buy some artist's merch, something like that. These hats, the shirts, you, you pay for but you get to use them for, for longer, more things. So hang on. While you're over there, you can also grab a quiz slip. They're very small. They look just like this. Uh, Answer the question, the very simple question on that quiz slip correctly, put it in the spittoon, and if we draw your name, you can come up and stand at one of these three mics after intermission and, uh, and, and perhaps win an even bigger prize. Uh, having read the book uh, will not help you with this quiz. Um, the barrier to entry is low. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, I will read it to you right now. Just I want you to realize just how tangible this is. The question posed to you is, which of these awards has author Jacqueline Woodson not won? A, National Book Award. B, Newberry Honor. C, NAACP Image Award. D, World Series MVP. I think you can handle this. All right. uh, we're going to have one more performer. We're going to take a break. Then we've got more music and a quiz coming up for you. Thanks again for being here. Let's uh, make some noise for another first timer. Townsend Solitaire, singer-songwriter Bobby Odell is a classically trained percussionist turned folk musician performing under the moniker Townsend Solitaire while living in Ashland, Oregon, completing a master's degree in percussion performance and facing a worldwide pandemic. 
Townsend Solitaire turned his creative eye toward poetry and songwriting. His music is primarily fingerstyle acoustic guitar paired with a single vocal line singing lyrics addressing common anxieties, loss, and love for life in this world. His ensemble has mixtures of cello, violin, flute, clarinet, and piano. Welcome to the Bushwick Book Club, Townsend Solitaire. Hi, people. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm uh, thrilled to be here. Um, it's been a while since I've truly read a book for leisure. I was in college for like 70 years, and that beats the crap out of like <laughs> reading for fun, because uh, you're doing it all the time. And this one uh, was a wonderful one to come back to. It really broke me apart in a ton of ways. And I didn't know what I'd write about while I was reading it. I was just annotating, crying, throwing the book, writing down lyrics, you know, just like manically. And I was really identifying a lot with uh, the hypersensitivity of uh, Aubrey and his experience. I didn't, I didn't end up writing from his perspective. Um, my song is called If Only We Knew, and it's from the perspective of Iris talking to her daughter, uh, Melody, and it, it's sort of about how just reconciling with grief and remorse and guilt for choices that you regret that you made as a child because she was 15 when she had Melody and she made a lot of rash decisions and you know ended the book with only Melody by her side and you know, just walking around with all of this you know generational trauma and just trauma from her life and I felt so moved by a few of the things. In the end, um, she was looking at uh, skyscrapers, and if you know, you know Aubrey's demise, uh, she was thinking to herself, if only I knew, like, Aubrey, I'm so sorry. And I just I really felt for her as an adult, you know, looking back on those childhood mistakes. Um, so yeah. Here's my song. I never said I didn't know, just that I didn't know what to do Even though I knew I loved you, from my first look at you I see your daddy in your loving eyes, and my mama in your brain Somehow I can't quite find myself in any of those ways So I packed my bags and I went west Somewhere far from where this family is I'm gonna find what I'm missing Got your pictures on my desk In my mailing in my head your baby teeth are falling out at last My little girl's growing up too fast If only we knew If only we knew Oh, I never said I didn't know Just that I didn't know what to do even though I knew I loved you from my first look at you I see your daddy in your loving eyes and my mama in your brain Somehow I can't quite find myself in any of those ways Got your daddy on the phone He says he loves me, I say I know in his desperate silence, somehow I don't know If I was really right to go But I found new love in hands So beautiful but made of sand Today she found the lies packed in my suitcase Telling me what are you doing, babe? If only she knew If only she knew Oh, I never said I didn't know Just 
that I didn't know what to do Even though I knew I loved you from my first look at you I see your daddy in your loving eyes and my mama in your brain Somehow I can't quite find myself in any of those ways But the world has a way of throwing it back in your face She gives and by God she takes I think she's saying girl you should Now it's just me and you Tides have turned everything else blue My girl, you've grown into someone new But I'm finally seeing me in you But God, this empty house I swear I hear him laughing down the hall I know it's just their ghosts after all Guiding us under these floorboards now If only we knew If only My dearest daughter, I am sorry I hope you know I was just a child I was gridlocked and awestruck And I couldn't find my smile So I ran away like I always do I didn't have anything left for you I wish your daddy was still here So I could tell him sorry too If only If only I knew. Thanks so much, Kevin Book Club. Towns in Solitaire. All right. We're going to take a quick break, visit Andrew back at the bar, and, uh, and you know, tell, tell him what you need. Talk to him about your problems. Uh, restrooms, if you need it, are back that way. At home viewers, I hope you know where your restrooms are and your fridge. Um, feel free to use those as you need to. Also, come say hi at the merch table. You can learn about style songwriting through youth literature education, Bushwick's education program. You can put March 25th on your calendar, which will be Tunes and Tales, our annual fundraising event. Uh, or you can sign up for the quiz, take some stuff home. Get a little stretch on. We'll come back. We've got more music inspired by Red at the Bone. Thanks for being here. Every 
glad you took me while it was there even that Fear and fame are his acclaim, he sails off to his bride. Here he is standing here, but she knows he has a wife. She feels the cold of shame, she turns to flame, she tells his name, it rhymes with shame. Soon enough, soon enough, the evening comes, gobbling up your dreams now. It takes a lot of time to make a rhyme. With every breath, the zoo of death is where he is, and he is dying now. Maybe he can't be fair, but if he's there, I just don't know why he's living life not fair. Buried through my flame, but in the end, ha ha, I got you, I was lying there. Take my hand, turn to look at them, and they all end up in spared paradise. Also, because he's done some shameless things, I'm prodding them to become a real bad guy. Dealings in which somehow they have found format for their escape. Here they stay and when he hears them, he can end it on a happy note. So for William Goldman and for me, we'll say for now that that is all he wrote. Oh, no, no, no. 
walking out of the clubhouse Didn't like my game idea Rearranging all the centric spines Making pretend tackles cake is also fun Making them pretend to be my little dolls is so fun Don't think she should come around. Kick me out again.
Certain portion of all thoughts and truths in you were raging, and the war was raging in darkness, the truth in the cross. You know what the kingdom God help you God help you you all know
Now translate it for the stage It don't matter what your age is All the rage is Right here at the Bushwick Book Club our fully virtual season, but we did. Um, so again, uh, barrier to entry is low, opt in. Uh, if I call your name, come on up, write your name. Emily will help you write your name on one of these cards for our highly sophisticated scoring system here. Uh, and then um, I will, yeah, uh, and then await further. Instruction. But so we were all on the same page. Let's answer this question again together. Uh, which of these awards has author Jacqueline Woodson not won? A, National Book Award. B, Newberry Honor. C, NAACP Image Award. D, World Series MVP. That's correct. Good work. Yes. Uh, Jacqueline Woodson has not been uh, a World Series MVP yet. All right. Oh, oh, yes, yes, voice from the back of the room. I'm so curious. Yeah. And there's really, actually, I'm going to need this because it's going to be fun. Why not? Uh -huh. Oh, hey, everybody. Oh. Hey, how are you all doing? Um, I just wanted to see what were the prizes in my career. Oh. I I've never asked you what your prizes are going to be. Oh, but that, yes. We have these new hats that I love. Oh. Oh. At least oh. one. Okay. Because I just love baseball hats myself. So okay. Yes. <laughs> so, so we, we have a we have a we have a bag of books up here, and then, but also it sounds like Jeff is uh, in the moment yes. adding a hat to the thing. So basically, if, if if you win first prize, you get first pick out of the prize bag, which is all these great books right here, and then a hat. And if you get second prize, you get second pick. And if you get third prize, you get third pick. You will get a prize, but you have to get all the way to your three answers first. All right, first contestant up, Jesse. All right. And oh, there's everything in that prize book from a Joyce Carol Oates book to a handbook about weed. All right, there's, there's something for everybody. All right, Jesse, come on up. All right, number two, Brittany. Brittany Bentliff. All right. You never know when I say a name and then the slow clap starts. Like, what do y'all know that I don't know about Brittany? All right. I've never been here before. All right, welcome. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Oh, I'll take your I'll take your card here. Okay. All right, Jesse's player one. There we go. All right. Uh, AJ. That's even slower clap. All right. Oh my goodness, hang on. I, uh, I may have come up here without an important thing. Emily, why don't you put that there? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Anyone know any good jokes? I do. Oh. What's big, red, and eats rocks? I'm a dad, keep in mind that one. <laughs> a big red rock eater. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, we have uh, we have Jesse, Brittany, AJ. Oh, hang. Oh, I gotta re. This isn't gonna work for a home. All right. All right. No, no, no. Hang on. We you gotta be in order. It's gotta go left to right. It's it's very important. All right. All right. So Jesse, you gotta be in, in mic number one. Sorry, AJ. You gotta yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's how this works. Um, it's all category A or category B. I'm gonna say a thing. You tell me which it is. Um, we're all here to celebrate original music inspired by Red at the Bone, extraordinary work of literature. Um, but who remembers the band Redbone? Yeah. 
Come and get your love? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah? Okay. That's what I thought I was going to listen to tonight. <laughs> oh, all right. I think they're still touring. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to say a collection of words. You tell me if, uh, if, if what I just said was the title of a song that Redbone recorded uh, or the title of an erotic novel. It's, it's one or the other. All right. So, hey, we, we just left dad territory now, didn't we? Yeah. All right. Okay, oh, <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go in order. First of three wins, we'll play till we get there. All right, Jesse, don't say no. Redbone? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, Brittany. Dancing with Mermaids. Erotic novel? That's correct. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 1985 from uh, English writer Miles Gibson. All right. Uh, AJ. Sweet Lady of Love. Uh, an erotic novel. Incorrect. That is a Redbone song that includes the lyric, I want to be me only if she wants me to. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, you're doing your own sad trombone. <laughs> all right, there. Uh, Scarlet Sister Mary. Redbone. Incorrect. It's a Judy uh, Peterkin novel that actually won the Pulitzer, somewhat controversial, in 1929, right? <laughs> Dave, you're going to want to watch the level on his mic there. AJ's very good. All right. Brittany. Mystery Man. Redbone? That's correct. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, AJ, blue eyes, black hair. That's an erotic novel. That's correct. It's a French one, 1986, <laughs> by Marguerite Duras. Okay. I see you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Lobster. Wow. <laughs> Hot. It's one or the other. Erotic novel. That's correct. <laughs> It's a Roger novel that Publishers Weekly called uh, both tender and appalling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brittany. For the win. One more time. Erotic novel. Incorrect. That's oh. Redbone song. That's all right. I got plenty of these. AJ. Under the hill. Redbone. Nope. <laughs> Unfinished erotic novel by Aubrey Beardsley. Excerpts were published in 1907. All right. Jesse, for the win. Arigato. Redbone. That's correct. All right. Okay. We're going to keep going. Oh, good. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to keep going. All right, Brittany. The Position. Erotic novel. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, 2005 by Meg Olitzer. Uh, AJ. <laughs> Belle du <de> jour. <laughs> Belle of the day, huh? Yeah. Uh, we're going to say... Redbone. Incorrect. <laughs> 1928 from French author Joseph Kessel. That's all right. We're just going to keep going. Let me get one. All right, Randiana. I certainly can. <laughs> Randiana. Oh. Yeah, like Indiana, but Randy. <laughs> it's me? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's all you. you from here to the end. <laughs> it's just you and that uh, harmonica. Here we Red go. Redbone. Incorrect. Oh. Synonymous from 1884. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lay a little loving on me. Are we going to say erotic novel? No, that's no. Redbone. Song. All right. Beverly Boulevard Blues. Is that still me? Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> they're just keeping you company. <laughs> erotic novel. Nope. <laughs> Redbone song. All right. Whew. Venus. 
in India. <laughs> That's an erotic novel. That is correct. <laughs> Published in Brussels of all places in uh, yeah 1889. That's great. That's number That's two. Was born. Here we go. Suburban Souls. Red Bone. No. <laughs> Published in Paris anonymously in 1901. All right. Throat Sprockets. What? <laughs> what? Is it you? No, it's you. Erotic novel. That's correct. <laughs> Throat Sprockets is a 1994 erotic horror novel by Tim Lucas. A horror novel. Thank you all for playing the Bushwick Quiz. I'll meet you all right there. A horror novel. Uh, all right. Can we get a hand for our contestants, Jesse, Brittany, and AJ? All right. And to carry on with the musical portion of our show, another first timer, Carla Rons. Can we give it up for Carla Rons? Yeah. Which is somewhere. Come on up, Carla Rons. Singer and musician Carla Rons stands on the brink of superstardom with his unique melismatic vocal style, clever and catchy lyrical content, and most notably his captivating and seductive performances. There, here it comes. Yes, yep. Known affectionately as Daddy Noir. The Royal House of Noir and a legend of the Pacific Northwest Kiki Ballroom scene, Carla Rance incorporates elements of vogue, runway fashion, and sexuality in performances and music. Welcome to the Bushwick Book Club, Carla Rance. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm truly, uh, ooh, that sounded like something broke. Um, I'm truly honored to be here, Bushwick Book Club. I cannot say that three times fast. Um, uh, yes, the book um, was, to be honest, uh, a little triggering for me. Um, as a black male presenting individual, it definitely hit a lot of tones that I was not expecting. So I, I appreciate the invite, especially this month, because this book was, um, was very emotional. Um, I was telling some of the artists I saved thousands of dollars in therapy by doing this exercise, so that was a good thing. Um, so I really connected with, with, I think, with a lot of people with the story of just Iris and Melody. For my own personal life, it paralleled with my own upbringing, only it reverse. Uh, so my mom was the one that stayed, dad was the one that left, as we see in a lot of black families. And so, um, you know, this was just like a whole new perspective on, on that situation. Um, and what it really brought up to me, brought up for me, was breaking generational curses. Um, in a lot of our communities, there's these, this trauma that's passed down, um, and you see it in Iris and Melody, Iris's mother. You know, it's, it's passed down through the generations, and so um, it, it's, I don't want to say responsibility, but for me, it felt like a responsibility for my family to break those curses and those things in our family that have been passed down. Um, so I'm more of a house hip hop rap artist. I like to dance around and be fun. Um, that's not what came up for me after I read this book, if you can imagine. So as much as I wanted to write like a dance song, uh, it just did not happen. Um, so I wrote a little acoustic number. I, I play the piano, but I'm, not, I'm by no means a keyboardist, so please bear with me. But um, this was the best way I knew to kind of convey my emotions that I felt after reading this book. Um, the song's called Undo, um, and it's just about, again, undoing some of the patterns that, that have been passed down through the generations in my family. So thank you so much for the invitation. Oh, for those watching at home, I am uh, an incredibly attractive uh, black male, uh, a thousand watt smile, a crop top in the middle of winter, um, <laughs> and I'm freezing. Okay. <clears throat>
Daddy was a player, mama was a stayer. Never would have made it if it wasn't for a prayer. Got a lot of baggage, got some magic. Trying to break these ancient curses of mine. And I need to find my own way, need a chance to break away. Promise you another day, I won't make the same mistakes. Hmm. Cause I've learned the hard way that you can never feign your fate. Ancestors, are you there? Tell me, can you hear, hear my prayer? Ancestors, whisper what to do. Help me break through so I can undo. Daddy was an alpha, mama was a delta. Running track together, then they ran from each other. Like a child does its mother, when they're trying to find another, so they can find a lover. Ancestors, are you there? Tell me, can you hear, hear my prayer? Ancestors, tell me what to do. Help me break through, so I can undo. karaoke at the unicorn every other monday check unicorn seattle on instagram to see when he will be there next i know you're not doing it anything this monday yeah i know you're not doing anything every other monday so you should make some plans for that uh in addition to our digital program where you can find out more information about all the performers tonight uh and some of them have even provided lyrics uh there is also uh a original crossword puzzle that Amy Zoe creates for every one of our shows. Um, the QR code's around. There might be some printouts of it. But uh, every show this season and last season, too, Amy Zoe does an original crossword puzzle. So fill it out, and then you get uh, a really fun message when you do it. It's, uh, that's great. Uh, hey, Jeff, in the back of the room, you there? Oh, so so shadowy. Executive Director Jeff Larson. Tell us a little bit more about uh, songwriting through youth literature education and membership in our uh, fundraising gala, would you? Oh my gosh, Wes Waddell. Please give Wes Waddell a big round of applause. <laughs> Man. You really give me a long point, Mr. Larson. Appreciate you. Associate Director of Bush Book Club. Bush of Northwest, thank you so much. I just want to talk about style a little bit. So I work with the education program, Style Songwriting for Youth Literature Education, where we push the classrooms and teach songwriting using the books the students are already reading in class. It is super duper dope. We have some awesome um, teachers that work with us, they cram C D Littlefield, and um, we get to hear the kids sing songs that they wrote the words to that are inspired by books. It is a program that really builds up the kids in collaboration, communication, and creative thinking. It's awesome. It's a really great thing to support. I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to talk about it, Wes. 
No, no, no problem, Jeff. And audience, if you've never heard like 30 kid voices singing along to a really polished studio track, yeah, <laughs> style is for you. I'll, I'll have them ready for the next show. I'll have yeah, them pulled up and ready. Now, uh, one way that you can support style is through membership. Membership is, uh, so we call it sustaining membership. You can donate as little as $5 a month to become a member to help support not only the style program, but these musicians that you're seeing on stage right here and behind me, right here. There they are. <laughs> They're right behind me. And they perform tonight. This is how you support them and how they... This is how we pay them, is by a membership support. We really appreciate that. And guess what? We also have a fundraiser coming up. It's called Tunes and Tales. 2023 West, I forgot to grab the file that has the actual date. March 25th at the oh. Rabbit Box Theater. If you haven't been to Rabbit Box yet, in the old Can Can space down under Pike Market, and the Can Can was where the first ever Bushwick Book Club Seattle show was, October 10, 2010. Rabbit Box is a really fun spot. It just opened up. Um, we're so happy to, 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 to be able to keep doing this and keep paying artists through all of this. This, this fundraiser is gonna have, it's gonna have music, it's gonna have qu a quiz as well, Quiz elements. It's gonna have um, dinner. There's gonna be a full. They're, they're creating a special dinner just for us. It's all author inspired. It's gonna be awesome. I just spoke with Robin down there. It's gonna be dope. You want to go? And you want to support Bush and Park West? Come to us. <laughs> March. All right, done. all right, March 25th. Uh, so. Next song is a video submission. Amber Flame is on an airplane currently, um, and we're so happy that we're able to, to feature her voice uh, tonight. Um, if you don't know Amber, Amber Flame is an artist and performer whose work has garnered artistic merit residencies with Hedgebrook, The Watering Hole, Wanawari, Vermont Studio Center, and more. Flame served as the 2017-2019 Poetry Writer-in-Residence at Hugo House in Seattle, which is where our next show will be, uh, and is a queer black dandy mama who falls hard for a jumpsuit and some fresh kicks. On one of the Bushwick performances last year here at Town Hall, um, the YouTube auto captioning, which if you haven't tried that, it's, it's great. It's a trip. So if you're at home watching, turn that on. At some point last year, I don't even remember what Amber said, but the caption that showed up underneath her just said, I'm Beyonce. <laughs> and I wouldn't know about this except an, a, a viewer at home grabbed a screen cap and texted it to me in the moment. Uh, and Amber was delighted by it, though she was a little worried she had blasphemed. Uh, in any case... Uh, Amber has been here on stage for original music inspired by Akata Witch, the beautiful ones readying to rise and the vanishing half. And now we get to hear from her for Red at the Bone. Please make some noise for uh, airline passenger Amber Flame. Hello, Bushwick Book Club. Um, my name is Amber Flame, and I am so excited to be a part of this show in particular. I love the Bushwick shows generally, uh, but Jacqueline Woodson is one of my absolute favorite writers, and I love this book, Red at the Bone. Um, so I signed up right away to make a song inspired by this book, and I'm so glad that even though I'm traveling, I'm actually on, going to be on a plane while you're watching this, um, I was still able to participate and bring you this song. Um, I'm super proud of it. I'm also just so inspired by the message in the book. I assume that you've read it now. Um, you've read it by now. And so um, this sort of story of how to confront, how to heal from, um, how to acknowledge family of origin and the legacy that comes with it. What it means to grow somebody else's face, <laughs> to, to see that your face is becoming your mom's face or your dad's face and vice versa. What is it like to see your face coming to form on somebody else's body? Um, and, and the metaphor of that as well, of like, what do you give up to be a mother? What do you give up to be a parent? Um, and what sacrifices demanded of children? All of that is in the book. The book is phenomenal. I also love the full circle that it makes in the conclusion that some of those things that you have to do to confront family one way or another, either to escape um, the situation, to find healing, to um, be able to walk away peacefully or to find a new way of relating to each other, it requires you to face it. It requires you to name it and, and, and come to terms with the people. Um, so, I love the idea that it ends with that secrets might be gold. The secrets might very well be gold. So 
I hope you enjoy my Red at the Bone Blues, inspired by Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson. Life is gonna cook you and you might for it's done. Sometimes hide and sometimes run. You decide your own way or how it's always been. Sometimes lose and sometimes win. Bro, how you doing? You're holding on. You're growing someone else's face Father, you go, same old place There's no way to set down what's carried in the blood Father, you run, same old flood Bro, how you doing? You're holding on And you know how it goes One day chicken, next day Life has got surprises, find you red at the bone Could be time that you went home Gonna have to dig up what's long been buried deep Could be that it brings you peace Bro, how you doing? You're holding on Bro, how you doing? Holding on Amber Flame. Safe skies, Amber. So as we're drawing to a close here, I want to do some thank yous, because it's amazing in some ways that any uh, arts events happen at all in the 2020s. And we're so delighted for all the people uh, that make this happen here. Uh, Town Hall Seattle, for all their help and partnership. Dave is running front of house sound. All right, Wynn and Ryan are doing the video for the live stream. Evan and Paloma are running sound. They're upstairs in the Great Hall. It holds 900 people, and they're alone mixing for you at home. That's lovely. Our season graphic design is done by Michael Wallenfels. The Bushwick Book Club Seattle theme song written and performed by Julia Massey. Thanks to Brad for being our photographer tonight. The Bushwick production team is Jeff Larson, Carrie Garvin, Andrea Marilyn, Melissa Montalto, Emily Persia, Wes Waddell. Town Hall, James is your house manager. Hopefully he made you feel welcome. Isabel met you at the door. Andrew's at the bar. They've got volunteers as well. Thanks also to technical director Bruno uh, and uh, email Maven Cam. Um, our next show here will be uh, April 8th, original music inspired by Anne of Green Gables. Green will be April. Uh, our next show in general, though, will be February 11th at Hugo House, just sort of up and over the hill. Original music inspired by the works of Margaret Wise Brown. Who knows what books they will pick? If anybody manages to not finish the book in that artist crop, I'm going to be very disappointed. Good Night Moon is not that challenging. Um, but let's hear one more song before we send you out into the night. Another first time act. Aline and Wes, give them some noise. That's what we're looking for. Aline and Wes are a soulful rock duo with unique perspectives. Dual stars glowing in the dark night sky, Aline Vita and Wes Spate blame the best of their musical essences to present a single-minded glow that illuminates everything around them, which is me right now. Um, powerful, poignant vocals tumble with gravelly electric guitars or engaging piano keys uh, to bring forth an illuminated sound both new and numinous. It shines. Wes, it says here, does not have a nut allergy. <laughs> And Aline drove from Belgium to Sweden alone once, and just, there are only so many times in my year that there gets to be like a too skinny West night, um, and it's happening tonight, and that's great. It's only January, and we've already got that checked off. So please make welcome Aline and Wes. Thank you. My name is Aline. I'm part of the duo Aline and Wes. I'm Aline Vida. 
uh, for those um, that need a description. I'm biracial, half African American and half Belgian, have a caramel colored skin, a little muffin top because I ate some pecan pie <laughs> over the holidays, but I'm working on that. It was delicious. And uh, my inspiration, I was thinking about how Iris um, could only love Aubrey from where she was and from her life experience. And it made me think about how we can only meet each other from where we are um, if you truly love someone. Yeah, excellent point. Um, I tend to ramble, so I wrote something down so that wouldn't happen. Um, this novel challenged me in realizing that I can be stuck in my own perspective. Thankfully, even if only temporarily, it made me see others in their struggles and realize this world is so much bigger than me. Uh, maybe I should have put ego in parentheses there. I've got so much room to grow, learn, respect, and adapt to it, just like these characters. This is what good, good fiction does. It challenges our, our perceived reality and shows us the pain of love. Wow, I smacked myself in the face. Pain of love, which is a quote. Uh, and my favorite part about this, putting in this quote is that I put in the in-text citation. I hope you're happy about that. That was from page 79, okay? <laughs> and you put the punctuation at the end of the citation, okay? <laughs> That's an uh, English teacher joke. <laughs> Anything else? Any other questions before we start? No, let's jump in. to my heart my love on my sleeve thought if I dared you wouldn't leave this pain of love feeds my knees backs of air bleeds melody just the Thank 
you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Bushwick Park. Aline and Wes. Aline Vita and Wes Fate. Keep that going for everybody you heard from tonight. Michelle Searle, Chiku Nance, Emily Persia, Townsend Solitaire, Carl Laurence, Amber Flame, Aline and Wes. We will see you on February 11th at Hugo House, original music inspired by Margaret Wise Brown. Thanks to Town Hall Seattle, all of you here, all of you at home. Be safe. Keep reading. Thanks to